Buchanan Enterprises oh. preferred. I've been keeping my eye on the wire. Every other stock seems to be doing very, very well. Yes. And I'm afraid that for the end of the day, Buchanan Enterprises is going to go from bad to worse. All right, it's better be important. I got about 500 things at the office. Hey, sir. Uh, Buckaroo, it's me, Court. Bo called, told me to come right over here. Have you seen him? Bo? Thanks for coming, Cord. I got the royal summons, too, son. Look, if this is about the company, I know that the stock took a beating today no, in the market. It's not about business. It's more than that. This is about family. So uh, brace yourself, gentlemen. The old man has some news. Listen to me, Briggs. Mrs. Manning doesn't work here anymore. I'm back and I'm calling all the shots and we're running my story the way I want it. I'm uh, sorry to interrupt. I just want to get a few things out of my... Your desk and then I'll head back up to Melador. Yeah. Cosmetics company, right? I think they'd have a hairbrush there. I'm sure they do. Okay, who did this? Oh, Kathy, it's a, a very exciting headline, and I'm sure it's going to sell a lot of papers. There's only one problem, Blair. I didn't write it. Someone rewrote my work and turned it into this. That someone is me. You got a problem with that? I owe you an apology. You threw a party for Todd to welcome him back in the family. And, uh, well, I think I pretty much ruined it for you. Kevin. Mom, um, I know. Todd's your half-brother. So you want us all to give him a second chance. How about if I say this? I don't like the guy. I will never forgive the guy, but... I will do everything in my power to keep the peace between us. What do you say? Oh, honey. Oh, thank you so much, Kevin. That's all I ask. Thank you. Oh. You're going to see this through to the tragic finale. You're going to hypnotize Vicky and give her one more command to kill her son. door was open. Oh, I'm delighted to see you. Do you know I was going to call you and let you know I was back and things have been so hectic it just slipped my mind. Um, speaking about hectic, I have a story that's on deadline. When's the deadline? Yesterday. Don't tell the boss. Good to see you, Doc. <laughs> Vicki, I didn't mean to interrupt you and your son. No, you didn't. There's no problem at all. It's really nice to see you. You came all the way over here just to welcome me home. Welcome home. Your enthusiasm is underwhelming. <laughs> is something wrong? Vicky, for a long time, I, I've had a problem. It's not about you. Someone's asked me to do something, and I have decided to do just the opposite. The opposite? Really? Is it serious? It could have been, but it won't be. I'll see to that. 
now. Tell me, how was your trip? Oh, my trip. It was wonderful. You were exactly right. Getting away was exactly what I needed. I feel like I have a whole new perspective on everything. Oh, really? Yes, really. I mean, I'm sure my problems are not just going to vanish overnight, but I feel that I'm dealing with them, you know? I mean, you saw me with Kevin right now, didn't you? Oh, yes. It was the picture of a very happy mother and son. Well, it was. I think the sessions that we've had and the help that you have given me in dealing with this anger, although initially they caused a lot of unhappiness, I, I think they're finally starting to pay off. Excellent. Excellent. Well, then, I'm free. And if you are, why don't we have another session in hypnotherapy right now? What do you say? Since you asked, yeah, I do have a problem. You know, I really don't think that this is the really the Oh, no, time. I think this is the perfect time. Go ahead, Cassie, shoot. I was brought to the sun by your wife. I was happy at the banner. I only came here to work with my cousin, and since you've been gone, she's turned this paper into the best it's ever been. You know, I don't care why you love the Buchanan's. To me, you're just another employee. You're not someone's cousin. Not someone. She's your wife, and she's kept this paper you alive and thriving when you were gone. Hey. I just kept his seat warm. This has always been his paper, and now that he's back, I'll just get back to running Melodor. Fine. Why are you letting him get away with this after everything you've accomplished? I am woman. Hear me whine. Listen to me. I'm the publisher. You're the reporter. If you don't like that arrangement, you can leave. Wait, 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 wait a minute, you guys. Let's just all take a deep breath, count to ten. We all have some adjusting to do I'm here. not the one who needs an adjustment. Okay. You missed him. You loved him. But how can you stand here and let him walk in this place, give orders to everyone as if they don't exist, including you? I'm not a doormat. Trust me, I, uh... I know what I'm doing. Really? Then it better be good, otherwise I'm taking charge of life and I'm going. So what's going on? If this is about the rustlers getting to the cattle again, I don't have time for this today, Bo. No, Cordero. We are not on a ranch. We're in my house, here in Landview, PA. That's right, boys. Your old man is not loco. What's going on? Paul? I'm very sorry I couldn't let you all in on it from the get-go, but I had very good reasons. Here I am, boys. Same as you are. Tell him, Bo. That's true. The old man's been faking it all along. What? You mean this isn't another one of his spells? Paul, look at my eyes. You're not really... Cross my heart. Hope to vote Democratic. I'm as clear-eyed and sharp as a mongoose stalking our cobra. A mongoose stalker. That's our Paul. That's our Paul, right? Wait a minute. <laughs> what you're saying it is true. It is true, Court. And I'm sorry if I worried you. Worry? You manipulating, self-centered old... Do you have any idea what you put us through? Yeah, I tried to tell him, but he seemed surprised that any of us really cared. Oh, what? <sighs> pa, what the hell is wrong with you? We've all been turned inside out, trying to come up with some way to, to help you, to protect you. And all the time, this has been some damn fool game. You know, you better have a real good reason for putting us through this, for treating us like this. Excuse me? Have you forgotten how you treated me? Whether you're holy in the vows, you sold me out. You stole my life's work right out from under me. Now hold on just a You're in it with them, Clint. All of you. Don't you dare come crying to me because I caused you some pain. You want to hypnotize me now? Vicki, hypnotherapy is like antibiotics. Once you start a course of treatment, it's important to complete it. Oh, no, I understand that. It's... Frankly, I think the vacation I just had did me more good than a dozen therapy sessions. Look at me. I'm at peace. I feel more at ease with myself and with my family than I have in ages. Look, I'm not questioning your judgment or your expertise, but I feel that, you know what they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> Can't we just leave things well enough alone now? Vicki, 
If you remember, the idea for your vacation came from me, from one of our sessions. And when you complete this course of treatment, you'll feel that much happier. Okay, I'm sure I will, but why are you in such a rush to do it right now? Cassie, you, um... You have no idea what it's like since Todd's been Wait, back. Wait, he hasn't hurt you, has he? No, he hasn't hurt me. He wouldn't hurt me. But, um... It would hurt him if he found out about Patrick and me, okay? You haven't told him yet? Of course. I'm not gonna tell him. But he cannot find out about it. Don't worry. <laughs> He's not gonna hear it from me. Believe me, I've seen his temper, remember? Well, it's not his anger that I'm afraid of. He's just... Since he's been back, he's just been very fragile. It's like all of his defenses have been stripped away and all that's left is this big, open wound. And the least little thing just sets him off. And I know that it's my job to make him feel secure, secure enough to trust my love so he can love me again and then our little baby. I hate to say this, Lynn, but what if he can't? Cassie, I know. That he still loves me. Oh, come on, how can he not love Star? It, it's just gonna take some time. I just know that. It's gonna take some time for us to get back on track. And then the sun and Melodora will unite and we'll be everything we've ever dreamed it would be. Sometimes dreams don't come true. <laughs> it will this time, okay? Look, you, uh, you were my lifeline when Todd was away, and I, I really need you here now more than ever, please. Blair, I want to stay, but... Okay. Todd acting the way he... But, you know, he's just got to take some time to, to, to get comfortable with being back, and he'll be fine. Everything will be fine. Please, 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 for me. Ready or not, here I come. All right, Cassie, what do you say? Are you in or are you out? Merci, Simon. Merci. Merci, ça sera tout. Ça suffit. Merci. Oui, Au revoir. Bien. Merci. Honestly, I fire the child once a week. She just keeps showing up for work. <laughs> anyway, where were we? Uh, deadlines. Of course, everyone knew about the deadlines. The papers had to be filed with the SEC, or the merger with Nippon Petroleum would have been scuttled. Mm, sounds perfectly routine to me. Well, it was, except to the legal department of Buchanan Enterprises. Somehow, those papers just never got processed, and the deadline came and went. Oh, how could such a thing happen? Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> and neither does Cord. The poor man. Oh. What will he do once these sharks of Wall Street start to smell blood? No, they already do. The news leaked this morning. Buchanan stock opened at 52 and promptly dropped six points. I think it's oh. still falling. Such a cruel world. <laughs> How can poor Cord recover from such a blow? I wonder just how much Buchanan Enterprises' net worth has declined today. Hmm. Back off, Pa. I should have known whose side you'd be on. Now, we're all on the same side here. Now, if you've been faking it, you must know how worried we've all been about you. That is just a nasty case of a guilty conscience. I admit, Asa, I did feel guilty about having to replace you with the company. But I still say that it was the only thing to do. So you say. So we all say. But we still love you, Pa, whether you deserve it or not. You know how many times I could have used your help and, and advice? I tried to tell you about it once, in fact, but I thought that you were too far gone to understand. Well, maybe I maybe I did leave you out of the loop a little too long. <laughs> a little? I learned, though, who I can trust. My boys. And don't you worry, Cordero. With my experience and your spunk, there's nothing wrong with Buchanan Enterprise that we can't fix. Well, I hope to hell you're right about that, Asa.
But in the meantime, I would like to know why you started this charade in the first place. I'll second that. Grab some chairs, boys. It is time you heard the whole story. Oh, this whole game you've been playing has been about money. We are talking 30 million big ones, Clint. That's what that scum has to stole from me and mine. Not to mention all this blowing is all the kingdom come. What, I suppose to turn the other cheek, huh? Bo, how long have you known about this? Not long. Or believe me, if I'd known, I would have stopped him in his tracks. That's a good thing you didn't. If I hadn't gone loony, I never found out that no good money-grabbing slut I married turned on me, <laughs> ran into Hess's hairy arms. Oh, and it took you playing cuckoo before you could open your eyes about Alex? Hell, we only warned you right before you married her. You practically marched us to the wedding at gunpoint. Yeah. Right? I was wrong. You were right. Oh, boy, <laughs> did you hear that? Mr. Buchanan admits he's wrong. But like Haley's Comet, it only comes around once every <laughs> Yeah. Go on, boys, say it. I told you so, Pa. We did I told, told you, so, you so, Pa. It took time. Finally, I saw that witch for what she really was. And believe me, she's going to pay for it. What about Carlo and the 30 million? First, I aimed to trap those two phony lovers. I could use your help. But, uh, you gotta keep quiet about this conversation. You mean you're gonna continue this game? Just until I get Alex and that Hester right where I want them. So what do you say? You with me or not? Hey, so there's all these cars in the driveway. What's going on? It has two. You know, it's not polite to correct your big brother. What's up? I'm looking for Dad. Out of luck. He just got a call from Bo and took off one of those famous family powwows at Grandpa Ace's. Great. Oh, that bad? How much you need? Reporter's instinct. Why else would a teenage girl go out of her way to find her father at work? Uh, this is this really good CD that I want. Every time I go into the store, it's out of stock, but I saw it today. It's really educational. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There. You can pay me back when you get your allowance. Thanks, Ted. Uh-huh. Listen, about what happened yesterday. Todd coming back out of nowhere. Yes. I know. I already promised Mom I'll give the guy a chance. I don't like him. I don't trust him, but if she feels he's family, well then, he's family. And I'll do my bit to make him feel welcome. Hey, Kevin, did you check the competition? Can you believe that sick, self-promoting, self-centered son of a bitch? <laughs> that, uh, gotta give the devil his due. Because this sick, self-promoting son of a knows how to sell newspapers. When I came to work at the Sun, I felt a strong sense of family loyalty, and I still do. Does that mean you're going to hold your nose and take my money? It means I'd like to make this work. Good answer. I feel the same way. What? <laughs> that means that you will be staying on, right, Kevin? Oh, I hope so. And just to show that there's no hard feelings, I have a story that is tailor-made for you. I told you. You've done some fair. What's the story? Well, I've been looking over the circulation figures, and I think what our readers need is a good old-fashioned scandal. You know the little people. They love to read about the scandals of the rich and famous. Oh, so that makes it good for the gossip column or this party page, but I've been doing investigative work. Well, I want you to investigate the royal family of Landview. I want you to dig up all the dirt you can on the Buchanans, especially their favorite son, Kevin. Oh, why I'm in such a rush. Uh-huh. I won't be staying in Landview much longer. What? Are you leaving? I mean, I thought your tenure at Landview was open-ended. It was. But I only took the job with the understanding that the writing of my book comes first. In order to complete it, I've got to travel to Vienna, Zurich, wherever old men with beards and leather couches get together. Oh, well, I mean, I'm glad it's about your book, but... I know, Vicky. 
I'm really sorry, too. Somehow, things just work out like this. But I want to finish your hypnotherapy. No patient of mine is just a patient. And you... Well, I just want to make sure that everything works out well for you. Well, you could accomplish that by staying. I, I must know. say, I've... I've come to enjoy your company. Vicki, I've really enjoyed you, too. Yeah. Well, once you complete treatment, the court will be happy, and you're going to do just fine without me. Who says I want to? <sighs> Excuse me. Sure. Hello? Hello, Elliot. I'm so glad I caught you. How did you get this number? Oh, I think that's the least of your worries. I'm serving cocktails in just a little while. Your company would be greatly appreciated. That's out of the question. I told you. Yes, I know you prefer the club, but your privacy will be insured here. Besides, what choice do you have? Oh, we really have a lot of choices. I'm on my way. You're sure that you saw him drink martinis at the casinos? Yes, yeah, absolutely. I'll have Simone show the olives. <laughs> yes, this is where all of your research is going to pay off. I don't get it, Dorian. All I did was find out that he owed a king-size debt to Grisanti. Yes, a debt that suddenly mysteriously disappeared when he arrived in Landview and became Vicky's psychiatrist. There's got to be something there. Well, good luck finding it. Yes, and keep up the good work. We dig that hole deep enough, we're going to bury Buchanan Enterprises. <laughs> demanding patient no problem i didn't feel like being hypnotized anyway i told you then i won't rush you but vicky the therapy is working and even though we only have a few more sessions together each one is going to bring you closer to kevin i promise you that and that wild uncontrollable anger that you've been feeling It'll all be gone. I hope so. I'll see to that. The crusading publisher of The Sun was greeted by his loyal staff in an emotional reunion that ended only for the higher cause of printing the news for all the citizens of our town to read. Yes, Landview, your long-lost champion, Todd Manning, is back. Going to be sick. Kevin, you said you were going to give him a chance, remember? Who said I won't? No, you just seem so angry. I'm envious. I told you. The guy has no shame, and unfortunately, that attitude sells in his papers. But you're not going to go back on your word to Mom? Never. Look, you better go uh, buy that very educational CD before they sell out of it again. Will do. Thank you. You're welcome. See you later. Okay. One of the family. Yeah, right. You should live so long. It's just another assignment. His character assassination. Get dirt. What dirt? What are you talking about? Well, I don't know. You're the hotshot reporter. It's your job to go dig up the dirt. You know, I think you can start with his garbage, though. Find all his used liquor bottles, used condoms, girly magazines. Go to hell, Todd. Oh, you've got to learn to watch your mouth. You're fired. Hey, I, I tried. I did. Uh, Todd, would you tell him that you're joking? Uh, Todd! Look, I don't care if you didn't mean it. I don't care if you didn't mean it, Blair. I don't want that. I'm sorry. I wish I could for you. I wish I could stay here, but I can't. You thought this is impossible. Kathy, Blair, I love you. I love you. I'll always be available. You can call me anytime. But I will not work here. I'm sorry. God, 
You just be careful. Be careful. Well, it must be fate that, that brought us all here today. Asa, his grandson, and son. Mm -hmm. We need to have a talk. As you know, I've done everything in my power to make Asa comfortable. I think we all have. But as you can see, he's not getting any better. In fact, he's getting worse. And I'm not complaining. There isn't anything I wouldn't do for him. It's just that I'm not only Asa's wife, I'm also the mayor. And you do have responsibilities. I do. Not only to Asa, but to every person in this town. And I'm finding it very difficult to meet my responsibilities. I'm finding that I can't meet my responsibilities and take care of Asa the way that I really should. And, and I wish I could. I just can't. I wish I was stronger. Uh... Alex, is this uh, going somewhere? Yes, Clint. It's my love for Asa that has kept me here all this time. But I cannot cure him. And I think it's time that we all got on with our lives. So, I think I need to ask for a divorce. Now, I, I know that I'm going to be forfeiting any claim that I have to Ace's fortune, and I am more than aware of, of what I'm... a sacrifice I'm making. I just... would really like your help in asking him to sign the papers. If you could just get him to sign the divorce papers. If, if you need to think about it, that's all. I don't think that would be necessary. I mean, I think I speak for the family when I say that, Alex, if you would like a divorce, then I think you should have it. How soon? Did you actually mean that? Do you understand my predicament? Understand? Alex. We all think that you're a saint for putting up with this as long as you have. I mean, for you, a vital woman to deal with this blithering, blubbering buffoon. Your life must be a living hell. Sainthood isn't good enough. Court is a woman that sacrificed her, uh, her life and her happiness for a man who's little more than just like a talking vegetable. Oh, hell of a dried up old withered vegetable at that. Like, kind of like a rubbery old carrot. It's a sin, gentlemen, a sin. Yeah, don't worry, Alex. I think that Judge Palmer could probably help you expedite uh, your divorce, don't you think? In fact, don't you worry about any of the legal expenses. We will be happy to pick that up. We don't think that you should suffer any more than you have to through this nightmare of a marriage. Well, I can't believe this. I thought you all were my enemies. Thank you. Thank you, Cord. Oh, no wonder I fell for you. You're quite a guy. Well, it's just too bad I didn't know the kind of woman that you really were, Alex. <laughs> Live and learn. Well, I'll leave you to your time with Asa. You be kind to him. Oh, yeah.
big time, Paul. Big right. time. You happy now, Asa? Am I happy, Cordero? I am in ecstasy. <laughs> There's only one thing that could make me feel even better. I don't care for martinis. Oh. It's an acquired taste. Maybe it's one you should acquire. Now that you're shrink to the stars. How did you get that idea? Oh, please, everybody knows. Your prize patient is back from her little trip. Her half-brother has returned from the grave. <laughs> Vicky must be needing you around the clock. I don't talk about my patients. I know that. Yes, indeed. Hmm. What can we talk about? Oh, yes. I know. Why don't we talk about the enormous sum of money that you owed that unpleasant Mr. Grisanti? The debt which suddenly disappeared. Well, why do you even care about that? It's ancient history. No, it's not. You see, the money was paid back when you moved here to Landview and became Vicky's psychiatrist. How did you get that gigantic monkey off your back? I mean, you couldn't have paid it off from the hourly fee that you charge Vicky, even if you charged her for each one of her eight personalities. So? What's your secret, Doctor? Blair's your cousin. She's not going to go and fire she you. didn't fire me. Todd fired me. Oh. Well, I could see that he rewrote your article, but he's ruthless, not stupid. You're his best reporter. Oh, not anymore. Don't worry about it. I know what it's all about. He's back. He's behind the desk. He feels he has to throw his weight around to make everybody know he's in charge. Once he gets over his little insecurities and realizes what he's done, he's going to hire you back. Oh, I'm not going back. I'm not. Okay, Kevin, I don't care what he does. I'm going to stay as far away from Todd Manning as possible. And so should Blair and everyone else, including you. This is why I'm here today, because... God, Kevin, be careful. You're number one on his hit list. Oh, I mean, we're enemies, but there's no reason for me he to... He doesn't need to have a reason, Kevin. He gave me an assignment to dig up dirt on your family. On you in particular. He told me to start going by looking at your garbage. Is that why you got fired? Because of me? I got fired because I didn't catch his ring. Yeah, okay to admit it. You know, Kevin, why does this always have to be about you? I have standards and ethics and... Damage to be careful. Todd is out to get you. Thanks for the warning. But we'll see who gets who this time. I want you to hear this new CD I bought. It's so good, even you'll like it. Ancient, decrepit mace? Imagine that. Mom, what's wrong? Tell me something. Why do you assume something is wrong because I have no taste for grunge music? It's not grunge. No, I just... I just know when you get that look. What look? Kind of dreamy, far away, sad. Well, I'm not sad. Wistful, maybe. Is it about Todd? No, no, it's not Todd. No, my therapist. Do you know Dr. Durbin? He's leaving. What? Really? I was so used to having him around. I know, he's become like a friend. Are you sure you're all right? Yeah, I'll be all right. Why don't you play that thing for me before I go? No, no, no. It's no big deal. Oh, play I it, play it. It'll take my mind off this.
You're not going to find the answer at the bottom of that graph. Hmm. You appreciate honesty, don't you? Always. All right, then, Gloria. It's no deep, dark secret. I came into a huge amount of money and wiped out my debt. Your Aunt Matilda died. Mm. I'm so sorry. No. It wasn't my Aunt Matilda. It was my publisher. He has such belief in my new book that he gave me a big advance. I passed it along to Mr. Grisanti. Oh. Must have been some advance. I'm an author myself. I know how penny-pinching those publishers can be. Well, evidently, you haven't met the right one. I suppose. The more I know you, the less I know you. Why is that, Elliot? Mm. Well, I guess you'll have to wait. Read it in my new book. <laughs> it's my turn now, Dorian. Oh, goody. Why are you so interested in my finances? Oh. It's not the money. You know, it's the man. The on the surface. You seem to be a very devoted, dedicated professional. And yet you have this really dark side. Mm -hmm. That's a really interesting subject. You see, without the dark side, I wouldn't be able to tap in to people's subconscious. Like Vicky? Why Vicky all the time? I mean, you're a gambler, aren't you? You should really try to work your way through that obsession with Vicky. But that's exactly what I am doing. Yes? Madame? Uh, thank you, Simone. They look delicious. Mm. One of our futures, Madame. Monsieur, the doctor is going to be staying for a while longer. <laughs> okay, Pa, it's done. Alex is gone, and she's not getting a penny of your money. So why aren't you smiling, Asa? Yeah, she's probably headed straight for Carlo Hesser's arms. Isn't that what you wanted? The starters. But there's more to come. Pa, I don't know how many times I have to tell you Carlo Hesser plays hardball. And he doesn't care who gets hurt, Pa. He is not the only one who knows how to play hardball. But the difference is, this time, your old man wins. Ty? Look, if this is about your cousin Cassie, forget it, all right? I don't tell you how to run Melador. Don't you tell me how to run the sun. Was a business decision. Or did you fire her because of me? I mean, be honest. Did you fire her to get back at me, to hurt me? Yeah, I think you've been watching too many of those black and white movies late at night. All those nights I was gone, because all I care about is the bottom line. I don't want to get back at anybody. So good. Fair enough. Look, I think we'd get along a lot better if you just stick to selling makeup and let me run my paper. Hello, Uncle Todd. Got a minute? Good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I always got a minute for you. 